Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to solve the system of equations in three variables by using the elimination method. As we can see, for the second equation, the coefficient of x is equal to 2, as compared to the first equation, which is equal to 1. In order for us to eliminate the variable x, we can actually take the first equation times 2, so that we have 2x minus 2x, and variable x will then be eliminated. However, it's not compulsory for us to do so. Instead of multiplying an equation by using constant, we can actually combine two equations. For example, I'm going to name this equation 1 and this be equation 3. I will then take equation 1 plus equation 3. So we should have 1x plus 1x, which is equal to 2x. 1y minus 2y, which is equal to minus 1y, or simply minus y. 1z plus 3z which is equal to plus 4z and this is equal to 5 plus 16 which is equal to 21 and I'm going to name this as equation 4. Let this be equation 2. Next what we have to do here is to take equation 4 minus equation 2. Let's copy equation 2. We have 2x minus y plus z is equal to 9. When we minus as we can see we can offset x and y at the same time since they are exactly the same. So 2x minus 2x we obtain 0. Minus 1y minus minus become plus. So which means that we should have minus 1 plus 1 offset each other no more. And we should left only the z term. So 4z minus 1z which is equal to 3z. And this is equal to 21 minus 9 which is equal to 12. In other words, when we divide the equation by 3, we should obtain z is equal to 12 over 3, which is equal to 4. Since we have obtained the value for z and we cannot proceed to obtain the values for x and y, I'm going to take equation 1 minus equation 3 for this time. When we minus, we should eliminate x for this time. So x minus x no more. Now we should have 1 minus minus 2 becomes 1 plus 2 which is 3 and we have y and next is 1z minus 3 which is minus 2z and this is equal to 5 minus 16 is equal to minus 11 since we have found the value of z we can now replace z by using the value 4 so which means that we should have 3y minus 2 times 4 is equal to negative 11 let's move the constant to the right minus move over becomes Plus, so which means that we should have minus 11 plus 8 is equal to 3y. So which means that 3y is equal to negative 3. And now we can divide the entire equation by 3. So which means that y is equal to negative 1. With the values of z and y, we can now put it into the first equation. So we have z plus y which is minus 1. And we plus z, which is equal to 4, is equal to 5, which means that z is equal to minus move forward becomes plus, so 5 plus 1, plus move forward becomes minus 4, and this is equal to 2, and hence we done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.